buddy. It really did. I moderated one of the debates up there. 5,000 people in the audience. So much intensity in that race. And don't forget what Scott Brown represented. He was the vote against health care. He was the backlash that really represented and, and carried Republicans to the House uh, and led their charge in the midterm election. Uh, he was also somebody who tried as a Massachusetts moderate to work with the president, even had campaign ads that showed that uh, the president had worked with him, and yet it wasn't enough. The feeling was that the Obama vote here would help propel Elizabeth Warren, and uh, looks to be the case. She obviously is a strong consumer advocate on the financial crisis. Uh, she's going to be leading that charge in the Senate. Those of you keeping score, and what else are election nights but keeping score? So a Massachusetts Senate uh, pickup for the Dems. Uh, we have another Senate call uh, right now. Prominent seat. Uh, this is Donnelly in Indiana, and that is the seat of uh, the uh, pillar of foreign policy from the uh, great Midwest, uh, Richard Luger, who uh, was turned away during the primary process. Andrea Mitchell, um, I know you know a lot about the lineage and DNA of this Senate seat. Also, what went into this victory tonight? What went into this victory tonight was a statement, a controversial statement about rape by Richard Murdoch. This was a, state, a seat that Republicans were counting on winning, holding Richard Luger's seat. But the winner of the primary was this very conservative Tea Party-supported Richard Murdoch. And Joe Donnelly has pulled this off. This is a pickup for the Democrats and a very, very important one. And we should also point out that uh, uh, you were talking about Massachusetts just now. Uh, Scott Brown would have had to win 20 percent of the Democratic vote to win against Elizabeth Warren. It was a very expensive, very hard-fought race. And also, since that was Teddy Kennedy's seat, uh, Joe Kennedy the third is going to Congress. Uh, it was the first time in 64 years since Patrick Kennedy's retirement from Congress in 2010 and, of course, Ted Kennedy's death in 2009 that there had not been a Kennedy, but now there is a young lawyer, a former Peace Corps volunteer, Joe Kennedy the third, 32 years old, going to Congress. People couldn't imagine the thought of Congress without a Kennedy. Indeed. Uh, so uh, they can rest easy tonight. Um, Andrea, thank you very much. Uh, uh, where to now, David Gregory? Well, Hi. I, I, I think uh, we want to underline on the Murdoch loss there. What a huge deal this is for the Republicans. They need a net four to take it back, to have Republican control in the Senate. And this is a huge loss. This is a race that they should have won. The rape comment, it goes to the conversations we've been having about the gender gap. And, and it was also a real negative for Governor Romney that he had to campaign in this environment and somehow own some of these comments. And it, yeah, exactly. It makes a huge difference in terms of control of the Senate. couple of races where, because of these impolitic comments from the Republican Senate candidates, Dick Luger get, losing in the primary, and you right. get a Tea Party-backed person who came in there and suddenly a, case, a, a seat that should have probably gone Republican goes Democrat. So this is another one of those issues that will have legs, will have resonance tomorrow as, as Republicans look at the returns in the Senate. Uh, big names and big results coming in now. We'll take a